What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday afternoon. How is everybody doing? How is everybody? It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody's doing well. Hey, Diane, how you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, what's going on, love? Are you having a good Tuesday? Hey, Victor, what's going on, honey? I hope you're having a good day. I hope everybody's having a good day. Mr. Tim, you know, I'm just just causing causing all kinds of trouble over here. <laughs> Not really. Uh, I was folding laundry. I was folding laundry. Um, yeah, I uh, did a little work earlier today. My allergies are, are, are just a mother right now, but that's okay. So just a little, little congested, but that's okay. I'm doing good, Diane. That's good. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah. So I said, let me come on here and say hi to everyone. I hope you guys all had a good weekend. We were so busy last week with the kids being off from school. And over the weekend, you know, we were doing stuff with the kids. Um, lots of activities. And they started baseball season. So, you know, we're busy with that. Track season started. So just running around, you know. Um Thanks, Diane. Thank you. Yeah, you know, as good as I can be, right? Okay, Mr. Tim, no problem. We're here. <laughs> we just got started. Thank you, guys. Everybody that's here, I appreciate it. So, anybody do anything fun this weekend? What was going on? Yeah, Diane, right? <laughs> Every day is a good day. Did you do anything fun this weekend, Diane? Victor? Mr. Tim? Anybody that's in the bushes, did you do anything fun this weekend? Oh, you did, Victor? Which place? In New Haven? I'm curious now. Hey, Cher. How you doing, hon? Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. You were six, I am. Oh my gosh. There's like a lot going around, I guess, again. Um, but I think mine was just allergies, you know. It just hit me all at once. You know what I mean? Thanks for coming in and say hi and Sharon. I appreciate it. I hope everything's going well, honey. I haven't talked to you, but I hope everything is going well. Um, oh no, Diane. Well, I'm glad you're better. I am glad you're better. Um, uh, what's the name of it, Victor? Um, hang on. Let me think one second. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Hold on. I know it, too. Hold on. Oops, sorry guys. Uh, oh, Louis, is it Louis Lunch? Oh, sorry. As I say that, my dog's name is Louis. Sorry guys, hold on.
All right. Hopefully they're going to be a little tame. My neighbor might have just gotten home. You're getting a bad storm. Oh, no. Well, I hope you're okay, Diane. Yeah, I know, Sharon. I know. It's not always. Yeah, Louis lunch, right? Yeah. That's funny. That's an, that's an old joint. Been around for a long time. Yeah, I know, Sharon. But you know what? I hope everything is going well. I really do. I really do. You know? When we're making changes in our life, it's not always easy, right? But I do. I wish you well, and I hope everything is going well. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Louie's lunch, right? I know. Oh, I know, Victor. They're like, listen, the, I already waited. The mailman has been by. It's about that time my neighbor gets home. So they love to, like, you know, mess around with the neighbor's dog through the windows. It's hysterical. Well, that's great, Sharon. That's really good. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it, too. Thank you. Yeah, Victor. The woof woofs. I know. Yep, everything's good. Everything is uh, status quo, you know? If everybody can remember to hit the thumbs up for me, I really appreciate it. I thank you so much. Even if you're in the bushes, it gets the... Uh, it gets the algorithm up into the YouTube world, the YouTube world, the world of the unknown. So, and I hope everybody else that's out there is doing well as well, you know? Christy, hey, hey what's up? What is going on? How are you? Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Diane. I'm just reminded. You know what? Sometimes I forget, you guys, you know? Sometimes I forget when I go into somebody's chat. What am I planning some swimming? It probably is a little warmer. It's uh, it's getting there. Um, and real quick, you guys, um, I want to say a verbal prayer and well wishes to a very good friend of mine. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to put it on my community, not any details, but a friend, a very, very, very good friend of mine um, suffered a very sudden tragic loss yesterday. And um, I just want her to know that I'm thinking about her and um, I'm sending very, very, very warm well wishes and prayers her way. So um it's, it's tough. It's really tough, you know, when we go through something, especially something very suddenly. Um, so I just want to put that out there and just, just say, girl, I'm thinking about you. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it at that, but thank you guys. If you can just, you know, just think good, good thoughts in your heart, you know, for Cindy Infinity's friends. I appreciate it. Not, not a lot's going on, Chrissy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. Yes. Prayers and well wishes all around. Absolutely. You know who you are and you're in my thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> You're making spaghetti squash, Christy. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Oh, Sharon, thank you. Um, let me know how you make out. Are you going to make sauce? How are you going to do it? I want to know what you're doing. 
you'll be fine. Oh my God, it's like so super easy. Super easy. You never cooked one before? Okay, Christy, yeah. Honestly, you can add whatever you like into it, to be honest with you. Like, however you want, however you want it, yeah. Well, I wish you luck, but I'm sure it's going to come out amazing. Should I have my own sauce label? You know, Victor, I might be able to do that. Yes, I want to see a video too, please. That's a great idea. I do want to see a video of it. You used to make a dip with um the with the uh, cream cheese like that with the spaghetti, not with spaghetti squash. What would we call my sauce label? Mama Infinity. Hi, Honda, my beautiful friend. How are you? I love you. How you doing, girl? How are you? Honda, are your allergies as bad as mine right now? Because mine are a mother. You don't like squash, Diane? This doesn't taste like regular squash. Like spaghetti squash has like its own unique texture and taste to it. I'm telling you, it's like the bomb. Spaghetti squash dip. Now, I've never heard of that, Christy. My girl. Honda. Victor, what? Are, hold on. Louie. He's in my bathroom right now, you guys. I wish I could put him on camera. He's digging through. I hear him. He gets my garbage down in the bathroom. My dog, one of my dogs. Except there's nothing in there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mine have been so horrific. Honda, I say all the time, I'm going to go to Florida. Like people that live in the Northeast in our area, we, people, older people go down South, like in the winter. I don't want to go down South in the winter. I want to go down South in the fucking spring. Cause I can't stand the spring. I want it to go from winter to summer. What's too dang healthy? Spaghetti squash. Oh, listen. Listen, it's not like, okay, I'm not saying it's like regular pasta. However, it's just really good. It's actually really good. If you make a good sauce to go with it, it's amazing. You've been slacking, Honda? Not with your artwork? No, it doesn't taste like squash. It's not mushy. The way that I cook it in my oven, it's like, it's like, it has texture to it. It's so freaking good. Well, Sharon, you got to try it. You got to try it. I have no idea. Other than, I just can't. I just can't tell you other than good things. Listen, if I'm telling you something, it's not too dang healthy. Well, I'm just saying. It's good. It's got so many antioxidants. Like it actually is really good for you above all. Victor, you were asking me the health benefits of it. And I never even knew half of the health benefits until I looked it up and I was like, holy crap. Has anyone had some black pasta? Um, Sharon, I have no idea if that's truthful or not. I have not talked with honeybees or anybody. I have no idea. Hi, Adair. Sorry, guys. Just trying to catch up in the chat here. I've never had black pasta. Is it like squid? No, it's not squid, is it? I, okay. Sharon, you got to try it. You have to at least try it. No, I believe you. I just don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Mm. 
How are you, Adair? Where did Adair go? Hang on. Adam, we're here. Hang on. Oh, what's up, my friend? How are you? Are you talking about spaghetti squash or the black pasta, Mr. Tim? Oh, yeah, the spaghetti squash, yeah. It's squid ink pasta. Okay, I was going to say, I think black, anything black is usually squid related, right? No, no, I've never had that. Dan goes, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Carrie and B, how you doing, honey? Thank you for coming in and saying hi. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Are you doing okay, hon? You doing all right? Acorn squash, I'm all set with Mr. Tim. That's the one I don't really like. Um... I do a butternut squash soup for Thanksgiving and I love spaghetti squash with all kinds of sauces, but acorn squash, I, that's probably the one I take off personally. That's just me. Victor, I love like seafood and stuff like that. I just don't know about the black pasta. I gotta look into it though. I gotta look into it. I'm not going to knock it. I wouldn't knock it. You know, I wouldn't knock it. Black pasta matters. Okay. Well, there you go. You got a whole new slogan. I like it. I like it. Um, Louis is saying hi to you guys. Hold on. Thank you guys for saying hi to the dogs. Oh my God. It's like they know. It's like they really know. I'm telling you. I know. I will try anything once too, Christy. I know. Hi, Gearhead. What's up? How are you? <clears throat> I hope you're doing well. I really do. Ha. <laughs> Woof. Victor, 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 Victor. Mm -mm. I'm just going to finish going through the chat here real quick, you guys. I love that you guys are here. Everybody that's in the bushes, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Um, you know, I wasn't feeling well earlier today, even last night, you know, and um, I was like, oh, God, I don't want to be getting sick again. You know, the last thing anybody wants to do is get sick. And um, I had a couple good, really good conversations with a couple of really good friends today. Uh, people that I don't usually get to talk to too much, you know, because we're all really busy in our lives, obviously, you know. And um, I'm going to say that, you know, I, I try to keep things as real as possible. I try to keep things as positive as possible over here. And you guys know that. Louis, Louis, Louis Mr. Chim is one of the dogs. Um, and I just hope that everybody is doing well. 
And I'm going to say that for everybody. I really do. I hope that everyone is doing well. And, um, you know, I, um, I feel bad for people that are getting hurt, you know, and I'm not going to say anything about anybody in particular. I'm just going to say and put it out there. Um, you know, people have a lot going on in their lives. Everybody does. Right. Um, and so I keep my stuff moving, you know, exactly. Honda, exactly. I, I've never, I have never, and you know me, Honda, you've known me for years and years and years. You know, I will respond once or twice and uh, that's that, you know. Um, I try to be kind to everybody. I try to keep an open door policy. I also keep, you know, things protected in my own world, you know, and with my friends. And um, what I'm going to say is that, like, I don't like to hear, um, I don't like to hear anybody getting attacked. You know, because they're supportive of one person. You know, I I judge my base. The way I base a friendship or the way I base interactions with people, especially in YouTube, is like how somebody treats me and how somebody moves and how I see somebody um, present themselves is exactly how I know them to be, right? Am I freezing up, Mr. Tim, or am I good? I hope I'm not freezing up. Thank you, Hersey. Thank you. Thank you very much for saying that. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I mean, I don't criticize, you know, I don't criticize people. I don't fall into the, any any of the drama. I will respond maybe once or twice. Um, don't push my fucking buttons, you know, and don't push your limits with my friends either, you know, and don't. deliberately condescend somebody and attack them, especially when they're going through something in their own lives, especially with dealing with like sobriety issues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, thank you, Mr. Tim. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I, oh yeah, gearhead. Well, I get, listen, the anxiety level gets risen and I'm like, nope. And I can talk about what I want, whenever I want. This is my channel, but this is our channel. And you guys have always known that I welcome everybody in and I try to be as good to people as I possibly can be, right? If I ever make a mistake or I say something or I miss something, I will apologize. But the bottom line is like, I hate to see somebody getting attacked that's trying to do well with their sobriety in, in the new infancy stages of their sobriety, Diane, we all stay on our own sides. And you know what? We can still be like diplomatic in the sense of like respecting each other. You know, we all can have issues with each other. People can have issues with me all day long and that's fine. I'm like, I'm really okay with that. You know, I'm really okay with that. But like, you know, you, you want to, you want to talk to me directly, then we can have a conversation. And I'm just saying this like, you know, hypothetically. But, you know, I just don't like, I don't like seeing people get hurt, you know. I will have anybody's back. If I'm good with you and you're good with me, then, you know, I can walk away just as easily, you know, if that's what somebody wants, right. And um, I just, I felt so terrible to see and hear some of the things that were going on and, um, You know, when somebody is newly in sobriety, especially, you know, you just don't want to jeopardize or or put them in a place where they feel like they have to take or be put upon, you know. And this is coming from somebody who has never been in an addiction, but I can see it, you know, and, um, you know, I feel bad sometimes. 
because um, it worries me. It really does. And so as long as people have good intentions, as far as I'm concerned, if you don't have good intentions, kick rocks, you know, at least on my end. Right. Mm hmm. Yep. Adair, you know, the funny thing is about me is that like I hate to fight and I don't like to fight and I don't like to have confrontation and I will stick up for myself and I will stick by people that I love and care for. And when it's done, it's done. I don't let it linger. I don't continue to talk about the shit. I just let it go. Whichever direction we decide to go in, go our separate ways, whatever it is. I'm not going to say, okay, I'm done with you. And then just keep going and going and going and going. Why? There's no need for that. I don't have that kind of place within myself to let that kind of anger keep festering over and over. You know? And so, like, that's what I mean. Like, I've been doing my, my thing here. They're saying hi again, you guys. Hold on. <laughs> they crack me up sometimes. All right, go lay down. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the crazy part, Chrissy, is that I don't fight. I mean, I will, but I don't like to. You know? You speak dog there? Yeah, they always want a doggy B O N E. I can't even say it. C O O K I E. O U T C A R R I D E. I have to spell it out every time I say it. Don't pursue. Unfixable situations or problems. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't, but I don't start stuff with people either, gearhead, you know? It is a miserable feeling to have hate towards others. I just am done. I just, I'm done before it even starts. You know what I mean? You know? I see a lot of finger pointing. I see a lot of accusations flying. I see a lot of lies and slander happening. And, um... I don't know if it's like for people's personal gain or it's for trolling purposes or whatever it is. Diane, what do you mean no one wants to give you a chance? Well, you can always be welcome over here, honey. I don't even know. This is the place where people can come and um, they're welcome. You know, unless you do me dirty and you do me wrong, then I have a problem. Well, and no, Adair, here's the thing. I don't give people a problem if they don't pick a side, okay? That's the difference between me and a lot of other people. And there are, I guess, things being thrown around that's like, well, you know, for example, if you if you are friends with Cindy or you stick up for Cindy or you're whatever over in Cindy's chat, then we're not going to be friends with you. I mean, at 40-something years old, 50-something years old, mother, grandmother status, whatever you are, I don't even know. It just seems so frivolous. I didn't act that way when I was 15 years old. I certainly don't act like that now. Yep. Certain situations are just best left alone. Correct. Yep. Adair, I hope you don't think that I'm making anybody pick a side because I don't. I don't make people pick sides. And that's not what this chat is about. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Christy. Yes. Everybody's welcome until you do somebody wrong. You do me wrong, you know? And that's it, you know?
And that's it. I was sad to see Courtney getting attacked. Um, and um, it's really sad. It makes me really sad. And Courtney, if you're listening or you're out there and you're working, I hope you're doing well. Because I, I think that you are a good person. You and I have always talked behind the scenes. And I think that you're doing very well for yourself. And do not let people get you twisted. Because I don't want that for you. The last thing I want to see is somebody getting. Emotionally derailed. From what they are looking at in life right now. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Oh, no, Karen, you're not really behind. I'm just saying that. Um, I'm just saying that, like, people need to be mindful of people that are going through um, uh, emotionally, you know, they're, they're, they're going through stuff, you know. And, and I'm not saying that just people that are either newly in recovery or going through stuff. I'm just saying people in general, you know, you always have to take that into consideration. You know? No, she doesn't deserve the treatment she's getting. Nope. And, and they're showing their asses. That's all I can say. People show their asses. You know, hold on one second, you guys. Hold on. Okay, guys, sorry. My dog was getting into my garbage in my bathroom. <sighs> no, Gearhead, and I, I only caught up on it a little bit. Um, I didn't really know what had happened, but you know. Well, you know what, Chrissy? I, I had to tell you. I'm sorry if somebody makes you feel like you can't come into my chat or, or anybody else's chat. But anybody that does that, like, really? Like, then that shows true character of somebody. You know what I mean? Like, I have never once, like, said to somebody, oh, my God, why are you coming here? Because you go into so-and-so's chat or block them or whatever. Like, that. that's so juvenile. You know, people can have their own perspective and also having an open mind, even if you've had an argument with somebody and letting somebody else give you their perspective, like that's 
called being an adult in my book. Yeah, I know, Gary had bad talking. I know. He loves to dig in my... There was nothing in there. He just thought he was going to get something. Okay, thank you. You understand what I'm saying, Christy, right? All right. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, don't... People, people should not be fearful to go into a chat where people are bullying people or, or slandering people or being negative towards them. If you feel that way, if you have to go, if you feel like you can't go to someplace else and then you want to support somebody and then they're making you feel bad every time you go in there and they're questioning, well, why are you here? Or why were you there? Why are you there in the first place to that person who's asking those questions? I mean, right then and there, that's a no go in my book. I'm just saying. It's kind of like if you've ever had a relationship with somebody and then you fell off with that person, whether it was a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship or husband, wife relationship or friendship, it doesn't necessarily mean either you are bad people. It just means that something got in the way. There was something that happened and you both can move on and still go be in another relationship with somebody else. And that doesn't mean that you, you, you shouldn't be able to move forward in life. It just means that like sometimes things are only there for a certain period of time as a friendship or whatever. And then that's it, you know, and that's it. If you had a channel, you would get blocked. What do you mean it there? Hi, Luna. How are you? What's going on? How are you? No, Luna, I get it. I'm well. I mean, you know, I am. Everything is good over here. No, but I mean, I don't. Right, your head. Yes. <laughs> Luna, you're good. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> Bang that wing. <laughs> oh, you're going to go see the Ghostbusters new movie? I heard it's really, I heard it's pretty good. I actually heard it's pretty good. I still like the original Ghostbusters, but that's just me. That's just me. Um, Gearhead says, I'm going to pin this one here. Hold on. Um, Luna, Gearhead, Gearhead said he can't see you. And he says, hi, but he, you're not blocked on his end. Is he blocked on your end, Luna? Okay, Gearhead, she says that she only has bobbles blocked now, but she'll double check. We want Gearhead unhid if possible. You have three people that will harass you through the whole chat just for seeing you in Sharon's comment section. Well, then Christy, you know what? reassessment time as far as I'm concerned. I'm not telling you what to do. It's just a reassessment time. Um, Sharon, I don't know what, see, I don't watch everything and I haven't seen much. I don't even know what happened about the 
drone thing. I don't know what that was all about. Sorry. Well, Sharon, apparently it's going to be happening with me too. <laughs> I'm new on the I'm new on the list, I guess. If you go fuck with Cindy, then you can't fuck with us. Okay. Apparently, you got to recheck who you're fucking with. Christy's always been very kind. Always, 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 always. No. Forget about it. We say forget about it. It's all one word. So go where you want and fuck with who you want. And that's it. Have people's backs, be a good person. And that's it at the end of the day, you know? And you got to think too, like if people are trying to tell you where to go and what to do and you're a grown adult, obviously we all are. Um, you got to check who your friends are as far as I'm concerned. No one's telling me what to do. You know, my mother and my father are the only ones that could ever tell me or guide me in my life. In my 40s, no one's going to tell me what to fucking do. And that's that. That's it. And I'm sorry somebody doesn't like it. Kick rocks if you don't. Yeah, Christy, actions speak louder than words. And, and honestly, unspoken words are probably more powerful and profound than spoken words. So. I'm sorry you're going through that, but. You stick by your guns and you stick by who you are, you know. <laughs> Terror. Christy. <laughs> you want a Cindy Infinity suggestion box? Oh, Lord have mercy. As Eric says, I'll tell you what to do, Cindy, in a role play only. That's great. You want me to have a suggestion box? Then you're going to be in charge of it, Victor, because you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to sift through all the bullshit. But that's totally fine. Mm hmm. Girl, Diane, happy almost birthday. I hear you. No, Gearhead, we do not need a full community suggestion box. No, 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 no. Nope. Because suggestion boxes are only for the people that will actually pay attention and maybe make changes. You would have a Dr. Phil moment. Luna, I know. Luna. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Exactly, Christy. Mm hmm. You're welcome, Diane. Oh, well, all anonymous. Then you're the one that's going to be the first line of defense to go through everything. I'll put you first person, first gearhead in charge. First gearhead in charge. Hi, Elliot. What's up? What do you mean this is different? What's going on? Everyone's saying hi to Elliot. You haven't been around in a minute. Well, I like your cooking. You should continue with cooking shorts. Yeah, I just put one up today. I just put one up today. You know, Elliot, we're just trying to, um, I don't know. I, I open my chat. I don't have anybody blocked. I open my chat to people. Everyone wants to come in and say hello. Um, they're absolutely entitled to people know that there's no fuckery around here, you know? Um, we just, you know, we just kind of shoot the shit, I guess. And I hope you're doing well. What do you mean get along? That's all right. Um, I'm just trying to have a conversation. That's all. Just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's StreamYard Adair. Yep, it's StreamYard. Yep. No, oh, people can come in and say hello. Um, and, um, I wish everybody well, and I hope everybody's doing okay. You know? I hope you're doing okay, Elliot. I hope everything is going well. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. You're meh? What's going on, honey? You like streamer to dare? Yeah, I do too. I I think I like this. I like this better than um, the format of the new YouTube studio right now. I agree. Elliot, what's going on, honey? You okay? Go. Oh. Yeah, thank you for coming in. I hope you're doing okay. We wish you well. I hope everything is okay. No, I haven't really been live too much. Bye, Diane. Have a great night, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Have a great dinner. I hope you're making something yummy.
Oh, she's a dare. I don't even know. I don't even know about that. Well, I mean, the only thing I can say is that, like, you know, you guys know my heart and, you know, I stick by people and um, you're welcome to come in. And I have no problem speaking my mind and sticking to my guns about things, you know, and um, it's just really hard sometimes to see people going through stuff, you know, um, or getting put through things. And it makes me sad because I know people are dealing with stuff. I know that they're dealing with you know, a lot of emotional things in their lives, you know? And it's not fair for things to be put upon somebody, you know? It's just not. Right, Christy. Correct. And the other thing is this, is that like, why is anybody's journey so much more of a walk in the park, according to some people than others? You know, everybody wants to criticize. Oh my God, you're not sober. Oh my God, you're doing this. Oh my God, you're doing that. And then when you see somebody doing well, it's almost like a jealousy thing. Oh my God, you didn't come here. Oh my God, you didn't call me back within a day. People got shit going on in their lives. We're fucking adults. Like, step aside. Thank you. Yes. Step aside and fucking take heed in the fact that, like, people have shit going on in their lives. And they might not be verbal about everything that's going on. You know? It might take them a minute or two. Yes, Gearhead, exactly. Great point. Gearhead says, I still have stuff being settled from when my aunt passed last year. Legalities, etc. Always something going on. Right. Is that e beggars? Hi, e beggars, if that's you. Hold on. What is hi? First of all, hi. No, not here we go. Not here we go. E beggars, are you going to bust in here and not say hello first? Is that really you? Can someone check, please? Because I don't like that fucking shit. Hey, Biggers, I'm not even talking about bobbles. What is going on? No, I just checked. Okay, I just want to make sure it wasn't a troll. Okay? I mean, I'm not talking about bobbles. I'm talking about stuff in my own life and people's own lives. What is going on? Am I talking negatively? I'm not even talking about bowels. So why are you coming in here gaslighting my channel saying I'm talking about bowels?
What do you mean a dare is? What do you mean a dare is? What? Now I'm really fucking confused. Thank you, Brandy. Hi, my girl. Hold on. You weren't applying to, replying to Adair when he didn't even say your name. I had no idea of what he was even talking about. So if you're going to come into my chat, I would like for you to say hello to me first. Second of all, we can all have a really decent adult conversation. So now you come in here when I feel like it's gangbusters gaslighting. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. See, this is the... And what are you guys talking about? Hmm. E-beggars, did Adair say your name? A secular, you show up at just the right time. What is up? <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, my God. Now we're going to get good. What's going on? What the frig? Oh my God, you guys, hello. Do people need to take this on their own? What the heck is going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Secular girls, don't fight, boys. Secular, I'm not fighting. No girls are fighting over here today. Ain't no fighting over here. There's no fighting over here. You beggars, are you doing okay? What's going on? We're not, we don't fight over here. Hello. You're spectacular. I'm fine. I, I don't know why you came in and I didn't know that Adair had said anything. I, I'm I'm actually really confused. Hi, AM Yisrael. How are you? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that there was a fight even happening because I didn't see your name being written in the chat. So don't really know what's going on. Um, I'm just trying to keep things like I always do, you know? Are you in, I dare, are you in uh, e eBay having an argument about something? Prior to this, that I didn't know about, obviously.
Yep, you got it. No problem. No problem. Well, Adair, do you and eBakers want to have a discussion about it? Because maybe you guys need to get it out. I mean, maybe. I did not know that there was something going on there. Oh, I pronounced it correctly. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Am Israel. Thank you. I I'm. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> oh, you guys. <clears throat> Trying to have a pleasant evening. Victor, thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Why are you resorting to name calling it there? Please use words for an argument, name calling. All right. Do you guys. Thank you, Victor. Thanks, Christy. You guys, honestly, this is not what I do over here. I have no idea what you guys are doing. You guys want to have it out? You want me to put up the channel link? You guys want to come on panel and talk it out? Then let's talk it out. I'm not monetized. You guys can say whatever you have to say to each other. <laughs> so, so bring it or not? Come on. You know, I don't even understand. No, thank you, Israel. I appreciate it. I'm not letting anybody bring me down. I'm just saying, if anybody has to have a fucking shit out, come on. Here. You know what? And <laughs> she goes simmer. Did I say simmer? Did I say it, Sharon? Holy fuck. Did I say it again? <laughs> I might have said it. Okay. Ready? Put up or shut up. Okay. We're having a nice conversation over here. So if anybody has anything they have to say to each other, let's go. Come on. Just do the damn thing real quick. Come on. Uh, Secular, this is my live stream. You catch yourself saying simmer down? Simmer down. Come on. It's right there in the chat, you guys. Come on. Anybody going to come up and talk? Because you guys have a lot to say in chat, so let's just talk it out real quick. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so fine. Just come up and <coughs> click the link and talk. <coughs> oh, my um. No, it's not a Freudian. It's a it's a community joke sometimes about Simmer. Hello? 
Anybody there? No, not Sharon. No, Sharon doesn't need to come up. This argument started with Adair and 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 e beggars. Come on. Come on. Louis growling at you now. All right, guys, give me one minute here. Now, I'm not going to be live for another 45 minutes, but if you guys have something to work out, it's not this place too. And and Adair did not bring up your name or nothing, e I He didn't. Okay. If you guys have something to work out, like, please just come into the chat and just say hello. If you have something to say, like, please. Yeah, Louis like feeling attention. Animals feel attention. They do. They really do. Secular summit. E beggars, what are you doing in here? If you're getting a massage, why are you why are you doing this right now? Seriously? At least you guys can hit the thumbs up for me, please. Thank you. You guys got to get, you got to stop doing all this bullshit to each other. You have to stop. Yep. You got to stop doing all this bullshit to each other. Okay, secular, later. Later. <clears throat> yeah, I know, Garrett. <laughs> Great job, Sharon. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> you had you think? All right, you guys. I'm going to get off here for a little bit. Um, I'm going to go finish doing stuff around the house. I love you guys a long time. Thank you for coming in. Please make sure. Actually, hang on. Luna. Luna, are you still here? Luna.
No, yeah, you're fine. You're fine there. Luna, do me a favor. Um, Real quick. Hit the link. You don't have to come up live. Um, hold on. Just. <sighs> Luna, do me a favor. Hit the link. You don't have to come up. I just want to message you in the private chat real quick before I, I, I drop down. If you don't mind. No, you're not monopolizing. Not at all. No. All right, honey. Thank you. E-beggars, were we talking negatively? Were we, we weren't talking about you. I don't know who you're advocating for, e-beggars. I, I should know what. I'm on my channel having a nice chat tonight, and you come in, and I feel like that all of a sudden there's an aggressive tone. I am not talking about you. I didn't feel that Adair or, or anybody was talking bad about you. So don't fucking come in here and think that you have the right to come in here and say, I should know that. I should know that. You know what, e-beggars? Have enough sense about you, please, to know that I am a very kind person. You want to come to my door? You want to walk into my home? Then you do it with grace and you do it with kindness. You came in here like gangbusters, not even saying hello to me. I don't even know what the fuck is going on with you people, but here's the thing. We don't do that shit over here. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not missing anything. Here we go. No, I'm not missing anything. I never saw your name. I never saw anything. And if I did, I apologize. But here's the thing. Nobody wanted to pull up on panel. Oh, I'm getting a massage. Oh, I'm too busy. This person, that person. All, all of you that are not fighting with me, you're not fighting with me, right? You're not fighting with me? Correct. Adair, are you fighting with me? e beggars are you fighting with me? No, you're not. So have a little sense about yourselves. You want to come into my room when I'm having a very peaceful chat, then fuck yourselves and take it elsewhere. Have some sense about you. I'm not making it about me. This is my fucking room. This is my fucking home. I'm not making it about me. I'm saying this is where I command respect in my fucking home. Okay? Okay. I said, come on, panel. You guys can talk through this. You guys can talk through this. Huh. 
I'm not fighting with anybody. That's the fucking thing. But you want to come in here. Mm. You guys, I love you a long time. Have a great night.